Hey guys, I'm back in LA for BeautyCon and I thought that I will take you along and show you as much as possible of the behind the scenes action at BeautyCon. If you don't get a chance to attend one, if you don't live in LA, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys what goes on at a BeautyCon event. So it's a beautiful day in LA, like always. It's beautiful and sunny and warm and perfect summer day. So I'm just out and about doing some errands, doing different things and I just came to, I'm at the Grove parking lot right now. I'm gonna have some lunch at one of my favorite vegan places the veggie grill if you live in LA then you must go there if you haven't yet it's delicious that's pretty much it for right now I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna try to film as much as possible while I'm at BeautyCon tomorrow Friday and Saturday because it's three days Thursday Friday Saturday so I'll see you guys later. So I'm here at YouTube Space. Like I promised, I'm gonna do a little vlog for you guys. And I'm here with all these beautiful ladies. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Hi. 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 Do you wanna say where, where your channel oh is? <laughs> I am Procio from Miss Barbie Baby. Awesome. Hi, I'm Nassim from Nassim Delon, just my first and last name. <laughs> Great. Hi, I'm Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? Woo -woo. Woo -woo. <laughs> and I am Gretchen from The Daily Cupcake. Awesome. So we just got here and we're going to head in and see what's waiting for us inside. I don't know if we can vlog, right? Yeah, but we we'll can. try. We'll try to vlog inside. So we'll catch you guys later. So here we are, YouTube space. Hi, ladies. Hi. Oh, we got a. Oh. Gotta grab my ID. So they have some stations here with different products. I think there's Lush here, Fair Minerals, some Lorac makeup there. I think we're trying to go get a drink right now, right? Yeah, we're trying. Oh, we keep getting stuff. Hi! You want to introduce yourself in your channel? Just kidding. <laughs> yes, I'm Christine. As if she's shy. <laughs> she's like, I know she's not shy. Yeah, seen the videos. <laughs> and my channel is CD or me. Yay! I'll try to include all the links in the bottom bar. <laughs> There's lovely Evelina. So I'm here. I just not, uh, bumped into Nature's Knockout. Hi, ladies. It's like, just... I'm just like, I'm just so happy this is like true celebrity, but she's like, oh, please. so real. YouTube celebrity, you know Yes, how. we're all YouTube celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to figure out what we're doing, right? Are we going in or is it starting over? I think we're supposed to go Okay. In the crowd, you know? But we're all just chatting, chit-chatting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, close. thanks ladies. each of you to start out by just telling us why you decided to make that first video and post it on YouTube because all of you guys started kind of back in the day. Is this on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I started because one of my, I was a makeup artist before and one of my friends said, oh you gotta check out, there's this British girl and she shows how to do makeup on YouTube and it was uh, Lauren Luke, kind of see at 81, do you remember her? Yeah. <laughs>
quite a high boy when I was actually catalyst to that too. Um, at the time he decided to go making, he encouraged me to pursue my dreams. So we both kind of quit our jobs and we wanted to do something in new media. And we loved just moving pictures and we loved storytelling. So we found a platform that we could share the, the pens, the tutorials, but also just the creative storytelling aspects to our peers. Um, I'll just touch on, I, I think what's really crazy is just the amount of work that it actually takes to work for yourself. Yeah. That's something that I'm learning every day the hard way. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, sometimes I go, oh my gosh, careful what you wish for. Because <laughs> when you're working for yourself, you are you. And you never get a day out. You can work something. Yeah, you never get a day out, which is okay because obviously you're working for your passion. A lot of people up here talked about that, but that you need that spark and that passion. And one failure will never define you, but I think you just have to keep going and improving and being the best. Be the person that deserves whatever it is that you want, and then you will get it. But they raised me to just always believe in myself and have faith, you know, and so that kind of just geared towards the rest of my life. And through my ups and downs, you know, whether they be personal or they be in, in, in business, I always believe as a better, as a, as a challenge, that's something that I'm learning, you know, so it's a learning opportunity to become better. Um, and I, um, I used to be paralyzed by fear. I, I used to be a full-time job of mine. <laughs> I was just, that's a horrible job. It's a very boring job. But we have a, a billion dollar cosmetic company and a lot of things along the way. You get nervous making decisions. But what I've learned is that you should use fear when it happens. Recognize it, be aware of it, and think about it as adrenaline, like when you're running. And if you look at it that way, fear is here, now what do you do? You take that momentum and you turn it into, okay, that means I need to take a risk. And you use that, so you just become more self-aware that that fear is there for a purpose. I mean, when we were cavemen, didn't we run? I mean, fear made us do the right thing because we were still we were here today. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, how boring would it be if you weren't afraid? I mean, it's, yeah. so, it's such a motivating factor, like you said. It drives you, it challenges you. It makes you take those risks. And you know what? All of us here on this stage here, were you up a little nervous even coming up on the stage? I mean, let's face it, there, it's good. It drives you. And it, and it, um, that's where the big ideas come from.